So good morning and welcome to the Rockford, Rockford BMO Harris Bank Center. I, I do want to say a couple of thank yous. Uh, we have with us Alderman Thunberg, uh, we have Alderman Frank Beach and Alderman McNeely as those I can see. So just a thank you for you to all of you for the support that you provide uh, Rave in the city of Rockford. This is really an exciting day for the city of Rockford and our community at large. We are sharing we are sharing news of both a major investment in one of our most important facilities in our community, and we're celebrating a renewed partnership with a world-class organization. Since it opened as the Rockford Metro Center in late January of 1981, just over 40 years ago, the facility has had a storied history. From the Rolling Stones to monster truck poles, from Cheap Trick to Eddie Murphy, from Rockford Lightning to Disney on Ice. This facility is more, though, than just a building. It's a place where people spend time with their families. It's a place where young people can often aspire to greatness, seeing performers on stage or athletes on the ice. Since 1999, the BMO, as we call it, has been home to the Rockford Ice Hogs. And since 2007, the Ice Hogs have been a proud top-level affiliate of the Chicago Blackhawks. We are fortunate to have world-class hockey being played right here in the city of Rockford. The Ice Hogs have sent nearly 100 players to the Blackhawks during that time and more than 120 players to the NHL. And 22 former Ice Hogs have lifted that beautiful Stanley Cup. We value our partnership with the Blackhawks and look forward to more outstanding hockey here at the BMO for years to come. This partnership formed in 2006 as the city and the county came together on a bond issuance to help Rockford purchase a team. And a thank you to Chairman Chirelli for being here to help celebrate today. Today, I am excited to join Governor Pritzker and members of his team, along with state representatives and senator, senators and and along with Rocky Wirtz and his team with the Chicago Blackhawks to announce this major investment in the BMO Harris Bank Center and a new commitment to the Rockford community. These multi-million dollar improvements will provide a better home to our ice hogs and a better experience to our fans. This investment also is made possible by the sale of the ice hogs by Rave to the Blackhawks, solidifying the team as a Blackhawks AHL affiliate and keeping the team right here in Rockford through 2036. You're, you're going to hear a lot about the details in just a moment. However, it is important to recognize that today is more about than just a single building. It's also about an entire community. It's about 40 plus nights a year when our downtown restaurants and stores are bustling with activity. It's about more than what, it, what takes place just simply on the ice. Understand that this is more than just the Blackhawks buying the Ice Hogs. This is a family run organization investing in our community. For Rocky and Danny and the Wirtz family, this is more than a transaction. It's a commitment to our city, the city of Rockford. It's about having an entertainment venue to help us attract a more diverse variety of events that our entire community can come and enjoy. Sports, music, musical and performance events, events for young people, older people, and everyone in between. Events for Rockfordians and events for our tourists. This investment is vital to our economy and to our community. For more than, more than 40 years ago, my father, as a member of the city council, helped develop the framework that led to the building of the Metro Center. Since then, we've only had two significant reinvestments in this facility, the most recent, eight years ago now, in 2013. It's an honor as mayor to be talking here before you with this historic investment. I want to thank the RAVE Chairman Craig Thomas and all of the RAVE board members. Uh, a specific thank you to uh, Craig for the tireless amount of time that he has put forward in this investment and to all the RAVE board members. These are volunteers committing not only to this facility and to the RAVE organization, but to our city as a whole. I also want to thank City Administrator Todd Cagnoni for his critical work and his understandings of the complexity of this investment. Finally, I want to take some time, so sit back, and thank someone uh, who from day one has kept Rockford in an important position on his radar, and that's Governor J.B. Pritzker. 
When Governor Pritzker was running for office in 2018, he spent a lot of time in the city of Rockford campaigning. And since he took office in 2019, he's been here countless times, not just for visits, not simply for photo ops, but he's been here for investments in physical and human infrastructure. In fact, one of his first uh, acts as governor was to release nearly $15 million owed to the Chicago Rockford International Airport. That's Mike Dunn cheering that on, as he should, and he's done a phenomenal job out at the airport. But our airport, and the governor knows this, is the fastest growing cargo airport on the face of the planet. The governor was also responsive to our work to attract the Hard Rock Casino to our community, another world-class organization, just like the Chicago Blackhawks. The Hard Rock will bring construction jobs to our hardworking women and men of the building trades and hundreds of permanent jobs to our citizens. And like the BMO, the Hard Rock will be a jewel in our tourism crown. Governor Prisker made sure that $1.5 million in funding came to the city of Rockford re to, for the restore, reinvest, and renew program. This funding is absolutely critical to our city for economic development, youth development, and violence prevention. Governor Pritzker didn't stop there. He worked closely with Senator Stottleman to allocate $275 million in capital funding to expand rail service, finally, to the city of Rockford. The governor also has allocated $6.9 million for our Rockford Mass Transit District. And I want to be very clear, this is just a snippet of the work that the governor has done in our community in just over two years. And I haven't even begun to mention the work he's done during COVID-19. Governor Pritzker has led our state through an unprecedented global pandemic. He's done so in the face of second guessing, Monday morning quarterbacking, and by those who don't ever have to make difficult decisions every single day. The investments in our community and the leadership the governor has shown go far beyond the numbers on a spreadsheet or the data on a chart. These are true investments in people, in the people of Rockford. So thank you, Governor. Thank you for staying true to your convictions. Thank you in years to come. With that, Governor Pritzker. Thank you, Mr. Good news is you can't see I'm blushing under here. Uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, thank you very much. Thank you for not only a kind introduction, but um, a, a full on statement of, um, well, my feeling for Rockford and for this county too. Um, I, I, every time I wake up in the morning knowing that I'm headed to Rockford, uh, I, I think to myself, this is gonna be a good day because I love it here. It's like a second home to me now. Uh, people have been very welcoming and kind, and I just uh, wanted you to know how much it means to me to be welcomed by you every time. Um, let me also congratulate you, Mr. Mayor, on your reelection victory last night. Um, I wish everybody that runs for office a 100% uh, vote total uh, in an election the way that this mayor gets uh, every time. So. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm very glad that the people of Rockford have uh, kept Mayor McNamara in this important leadership role. Uh, you demonstrate every day the advocacy for your city really matters. And I think the people who stand with me here, who are elected, who are in Springfield, um, uh, are your, your best advocates. They, they are not only your friends and allies, but they deliver for you. They're the ones who come and talk to me in Springfield all the time about what it is that Rockford needs and what I need to deliver for Rockford, and I'm grateful to them. Um, I'm very proud today to be here to, and welcome a wide-ranging coalition of public and private sector leaders united by one idea. Rockford is a city on the rise. Uh, that includes uh, Chicago Blackhawks Chairman Rocky Wirtz, Blackhawks uh, CEO Danny Wirtz, Rockford Area Venues and Entertainment Authority Board Chairman Craig Thomas, Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity Director Sylvia Garcia, the powerful team that you've elected to represent you in state government, of course, Senator Steve Stottleman, Representative Maurice West, and Representative Dave Vella. Chairman of the Winnebago County Board, uh, Joe Shirelli, 
uh, as well as board members, uh, Tim Neighbors, Executive Director of the Northwestern Illinois Building Trades, Alan Golden, Golden uh, Executive Vice President of the Rockford Chamber of Commerce, Caitlin Pusateri, uh, Executive Director of the Rockford Park District, Jay Sandine, uh, as well as Rockford Alderman, who've been mentioned already, but Vanita Harvey, uh, Linda McNeely, and Gabrielle Torina. Thank you all very much for joining us. I believe to my core that our economic recovery, both as a nation and as a state, go hand in hand with our recovery from this virus. While we work to get everyone vaccinated to overcome the pandemic health challenges, we must invest in job growth to overcome the economic challenges brought on by COVID-19. Today, I am so proud to announce that we're investing in a stronger future for the city of Rockford by dedicating $13 million in state funding to revitalize the BMO Harris Bank Center in a local and state public-private partnership that will bring at least $23 million in renovations for this project. Not only, yeah. Not only will this investment create over 250 construction jobs, retain hundreds of existing positions at the arena, generate tens of millions in economic activity for this region, but we're also opening the door for the Chicago Blackhawks, which are formally purchasing their AHL affiliate, securing the Ice Hogs long-term presence here in Rockford. And I wanna thank the Wirtz family for their dedication commitment to Rockford. By leveraging our historic Rebuild Illinois capital plan, we have scored a winning combination for Illinois, for Rockford, and for the Chicago Blackhawks, as well as the Rockford Ice Hogs. And just as importantly, for all the fans who are excited to come back to the BMO to cheer on their hometown team. It's also a big win for local small business owners like our bar and restaurant operators who will get a much needed boost from the renewal of local and regional tourism to this area. The Blackhawks have a proven track record of building winning teams and a premier entertainment destination. So I am confident that the Ice Hogs and the BMO Center will flourish under their ownership, leadership, and philanthropy. Since I signed the Bipartisan Rebuild Illinois Infrastructure Plan into law in the summer of 2019, tens of millions of dollars have already started flowing to Rockford uh, with funding to resurface major roadways like the West State Street Corridor and portions of Illinois 2, US 20, and I-39. We've authorized a major investment, as was talked about a little earlier, in passenger rail service between Rockford and Chicago, funded improvements for the Rockford Airport, prioritized facility improvements at Rock Valley College, and of course, we've authorized the Rockford Casino Project. In other words, this isn't the first time that we've delivered for Rockford, and it certainly won't be the last. So with that, I am very proud to turn it over to a man without whom this moment would not be possible, and that's Chicago Blackhawks Chairman Rocky Wirtz. Rocky. Thank you, Governor. Good morning, and thank you, Amir McNamara. Thank you, Governor, again, Director Garcia, Chairman Thomas, for being here today as well. This is an exciting day for the Chicago Blackhawks for the Ice Hogs and for the city of Rockford. We all know the story of some of these great players that have come through here in Rockford and went on to help us win a number of Stanley Cups. And our head coach, Jeremy Colton, got his start here too. The revamped BNO Harris Center will benefit all residents and serve as an economic engine for the entire region. Invest in Illinois is essential to our state's success. And it would like to uh, comment and congratulate Governor uh, Pritzker for his leadership, for his partnership on this project. We, we are deeply committed to the Rockford area and for the months to come and going to see the Chicago Blackhawk Foundation strengthen our connections here in the community. On behalf of myself, my son Danny, who is CEO and President of Business Operations, Jamie Faulkner, our front office team, the entire organization, we are excited and welcome to be here 
and thank you very much for everything you've done. And with that Wow, this is exciting. Good morning, everyone. Thank you to all of you for coming out here today. Governor Pritzker, Senator Stottleman, Representatives West and Vela, Director Garcia, Mayor McNamara, Rocky Wirtz, Danny Wirtz, very much appreciate your, your attention and, and the, the support you've shown for all of us. My Vice Fair Chair John Phelps is here, the rest of our rave board. A big thank you to all of you for, for not only being here today for this great announce, announcement, but for all of your hard work over the last number of months. Never before is the expression, it is darkest before the dawn, seemed to me to be more true. It was just over a year ago when, like the rest of the world, everything for us ground to a halt. In the year since, we've been unable to have any fans in our building, not for a concert, a live performance, and certainly not for an Ice Hogs game. Thanks to the dedication of our management team and partners at the City of Rockford, a year ago we took drastic steps to stabilize our organization and to ensure that we would make it through to the other side of the pandemic. Then like the rest of the world, as we took a deep breath and started to plan for how we would navigate our new normal, we came out of survival mode. And in large part, thanks to a terrific discussion I had with Danny Wirtz, and the Chicago Blackhawks management team last fall, we began to think not just about how to survive, but how to thrive and do what we do even better. With the support and insight of all of our key partners, we started to think about a bolder vision, one that would deepen our partnership with the Chicago Blackhawks and enhance the Blackhawks commitment to the Rockford community and also give Rockford a world-class arena. On behalf of RAVE, I want to extend our sincerest gratitude to Governor Pritzker and his administration, Mayor McNamara, Todd Cagnoni, the City of Rockford, our Aldermanic representatives, Frank Beach and Chad Thunberg, BMO Harris Bank and all of our other loyal sponsors, Rocky and Danny Wirtz and the entire Blackhawk organization. And Gretchen Gilmore and Gordon Kay, thank you for your tireless effort. With your support and insight, we are truly now on the verge of a new dawn for the BMO Harris Bank Center and our partnership with the Chicago Blackhawks. This is truly a game changer for RAVE, the city of Rockford, and downtown economic activity. With the vision and support of Governor Pritzker in the state of Illinois and the Wirtz family and the Chicago Blackhawks, we look forward to once again being a catalyst of economic and ent entertainment activity and world-class hockey for years to come. Thank you. Senator Solomon. Good morning, everyone. Well, in case you haven't heard, there's been a lot going in downtown Rockford lately the past few months. Uh, let me give you some examples of just recent headlines uh, in local media. Plans approved for a new downtown library and riverfront restaurant, retail space, and apartments. Developer eyes first new luxury downtown apartment buildings in 25 years. Millions of state dollars secured for Davis Park improvements. State names project manager for passenger rail service from Chicago to downtown Rockford. UW Health Sports Factory hosts the Women's College Basketball National Invitational Tournament Regional this spring. And now the Blackhawks buy the Ice Hogs and millions of dollars in improvements coming to BMO Harris Bank Center. Not bad for being in the center of a pandemic for sure. You know, the, uh, the Ice Hogs has always had been a big success in this community, and it's always a thrill to see former Ice Hogs, and now it's coach, uh, on the ice in Chicago playing for the Blackhawks. And not only is this great news for, uh, you know, the, the Ice Hogs in Rockford area, Ice Hog fans, but this is big news for um, downtown hospitality businesses, which has certainly been struggling uh, the past year because of the pandemic. And now the planned improvements to BMO will ensure that the entertainment venue will remain a tourist attraction for years to come. So I want to give my thanks also to uh, uh, Bill Wirtz, the Wirtz family, uh, Governor Prisker for his involvement. And the governor was definitely involved when the governor was here a couple weeks ago for another event. Uh, the topic of the Ice Hogs came up. 
He goes, oh, yeah, I was just on a phone call with Rocky Wirtz this morning. And so you know that's always a good sign that the deal's going to come through when the governor's on that phone that very same day trying to make the situation happen. So I can't say that the governor went to bat for Rockford. That's the wrong sport. That's the wrong metaphor. I will certainly say he scored big on the power play. So, Governor, thank you. Uh, Blackhawks team, thank you. Mayor McNamara, the city of Rockford, and Wave, congratulations and a big win for the community of Rockford. And now I'd like to introduce my colleague, Representative West. Uh, good morning, everyone. To Governor Prisker, thank you for being here. Um, to the Wartz family, we appreciate you. Uh, to Mr. Thomas, Mayor McNamara, to my uh, colleagues and the, and the state delegation, to Director Garcia. But more importantly, to all of you, um, this is a phenomenal day on today. I want to thank you all for being here and I want to welcome you to the 67th district. <laughs> and I say that because um, the downtown area, I'm proud to be the representative of the downtown area. Down And being uh, that I, I grew up here in the Rockford area, downtown um, has always been a focal point that we always try to focus on in terms of economic development. And here we are during a pandemic, as Senator Stalderman said, making phenomenal investments into our downtown area. The one thing I'm always fond of when it comes to this building, the BMO Harris Bank Center, um, not just the color of the building, which is unusual in itself, but not, and not even just the athletic uh, facility, uh, entertainment um, or, uh, arenas that we had here, but also the fond memories of graduating from in here from high school. We've had our high school students who graduated here, our career expos that were hosted here. Uh, and then not just to mention the Rockford Ice Hogs, but we had the Rockford Lightning. We had Disney on Ice. We had all this array of uh, uh, events that brought fond memories to our Rockford families. And now that we are coming into a post pandemic normalcy, that's not gonna be as the same as before, we are in a position where we can bring back recharge, renewed memories for our Rockford families. To the Rave Board, I wanna thank you in advance uh, for your leadership in bringing diversity to our events and bringing diversity into the events that come here, not just in terms of entertainment um, and music, but also in terms of the convention style events that will come here. Thank you in advance for your leadership on that. To all of you, thank you, for, uh, and to all of our, le our community leaders, uh, I wanna say to you here in the Rockford area, this is just the beginning of what we can do here in Rockford in the post pandemic normalcy. And so I'm looking forward to what's to come. So now I want to introduce to you uh, my new colleague in the um, House of Representatives, um, who has, it's been a joy to work with and it's only been two months, uh, Representative Dave Vela. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it has only been two months, but it's been, been a long two months and a fun two months. Um, I've lived in Rock Ferry my whole life. Uh, I do remember when my grandfather helped bring the money back for the BMO, it was something that he was always proud of. I go back a long way, as you can tell, my gray hair. My first concert here was Frank Sinatra back a long, long time ago. It was really good. Uh, I've gone to Globe Trotters, I've gone to rodeos, I've gone to tough man competitions, um, and I've gone to a lot of the sports teams that we've had here, the Rockford Lightning, the Rockford Raptors, but no one has been able to grab the attention, grab the excitement of the area like the Ice Hogs. And I think that's in, in large part because they were connected to the Rockford, or to the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. And the Wirtz family saw that, and they came here, and they helped us out. And they've taken over, obviously, the excitement of the Ice Hogs, and they're going to keep building it and keep building it. And they're not only investing in the Ice Hogs, but they're investing in the whole community, which is what's really most important, is we're getting our sports team, we're, we're getting everybody excited, but we're also investing in jobs, investing in our community, investing in the downtown. And coming out of this pandemic, I firmly believe that the only way we're ever going to come out strong again is to reinvest in our city centers, reinvest in the jobs that are going to get people out, get people spending again, get people working again, get people feeling good about themselves again. So thank you very, very, very much to the Wirtz family. Thank you to the governor. Thank you to the mayor for doing such an amazing job. Thank you to everybody. Everybody's here. Thank you to Al Golden. Thank you to Hammy. <laughs> no one's thanked Hammy. Hammy, I think, is the personification of all the people who just love the Ice Hogs. So thank you very much. 
And I'm telling you, this is just the beginning. As everybody has said so far, Rockford is on the rise. You know, we, we, we have gone through some dips over the years, but I truly believe we are on the rise. And the best way to keep the rise going is to keep investing, to thank the people who are there for us now when we're rising, and to not forget them in the future. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much to everybody. Um, and right now, I would like to introduce Sylvia Garcia, the current director of the Illinois Department of Commerce uh, and Economic Opportunity. She can tell us a little some stuff, huh? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Representative, and, and thank you everyone for being here. Since, again, using the wrong sports metaphor, I'm planning cleanup. I'm just going to say thank you to everyone um, and, and not go into the details, but I think we've got a great uh, collection of folks that have really been important to this project. Um, as was mentioned, I'm Sylvia Garcia. I'm the new acting director of the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity. I'm happy to be here today as we mark the beginning of a truly exciting project for sports fans in Rockford and across Illinois. Under Governor Pritzker's leadership, Rebuild Illinois leverages a historic level of capital to not only address our outstanding infrastructure needs, but to make investments in communities that will generate long-term economic growth, which is what we've talked about here so far here in, here in Rockford. Today, we'll bring $13 million in Rebuild Illinois grants to the table, which will be met with local and private dollars, which will provide a total of $23 million needed to modernize Rockford's BMO, uh, Bank, Harris, BMO Harris Bank Center. Uh, this investment, in turn, will create new jobs, boost revenues, and help in reinvigorate tourism to the area. Every game played here will continue to have an economic impact for local businesses, generating revenues for bars, restaurants, and hotels that populate the downtown Rockford area. All in all, over 15 years, this, pro this project will bring $382 million in economic activity to the state and to the region. The investments that are being announced today are really just the latest indicator of the strong economic momentum we are seeing here in Rockford. As a number of the other speakers have mentioned, there's a lot of things happening here in Rockford. Just last week, our DCO team was in town to break ground on a major expansion at the Ingersoll Machine Tools Plant, um, the latest example of advancements in manufacturing and technology industries here in Rockford. These recent announcements, along with many others over the past couple of years, are a great example of how we're continuing to drive new economic development across all sectors in Illinois and here, right here in Rockford. Now with the improvements at the BMO Harris Center, we look forward to stimulating the tourism sector as a major source of economic power for this region and the businesses that depend on it. In closing, I want to thank Mac Mayor McNamara and the team at RAVE for their vision and leadership on this project, and a special thanks to the Wirtz family for their longstanding dedication to our communities and the economic vitality of the Rockford region in particular. We look forward to supporting continued growth here at the BMO Center, but across Rockford as we go forward in the years to come. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Governor Pritzker. Thank you.